All right, Simeon, thanks again uh, for joining us. Um, we spoke a bit on, on um, I guess Friday was, about getting the right results. Saturday didn't go as planned. Let us know your thoughts on the game. Um, I thought we started off well. Um, you know, I thought we uh, kept our shape well, contained him to not, not as many chances in the first half. But then second half, I think you know, we died out towards the end, and obviously that cost us in two goals. And you were stuck out on the right wing, um, not where you're used to playing at all. But you showed some good touches out there. How was that uh, experience for you? And do you think maybe it'll be fitting out there again? Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm ready to play anywhere I'm told to play. So, uh, yeah, it was good. Um, uh, you know, tried to, to get a hold on the game in any way I could. And I'm um, going to try and, and go out there and do that again tomorrow. And so is the plan is Stephen's going to have you out on the right again? I'm not too sure. Um, we tried a few things today. So we'll just wait and see uh, how we're going to play tomorrow. And this is a Honduras team that gave Canada a lot of problems during qualifying. Um, you know, particularly crushing 2-1 loss here when you're up 1-0. Um, have you spoken about that game, and are you, how, how are you going to apply those lessons to what's going on today? Uh, no, we haven't. Um, you know, I think players learned learned from uh, those experiences, and obviously it's a different game uh, tomorrow, and, and maybe a different team. But yeah, you know, we know what to expect from them, and uh, it should be a good game. And uh, Ian Hume, yourself, Rob Friend, um, and Issa uh, seem to be the main attacking options. Um, is there a certain partnership you're leaning towards becoming a part of, or are you just willing to play with whoever's out there? Uh, whoever. You know, um, the players are flexible enough to play in different positions, so um, I think um, these games are good to, to get an idea of, 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 you know, connection with each other and, and obviously how we're going to play. So, um, yeah, as I said, everyone just moves around and, and, and can slot in anywhere they're told. And I'm sure you're tired of talking about this, but the, the crowd in Toronto, again, um, was pro-Peruvian, not a lot of Canadian support. Um, as a player, how do you react to that? Um, it's disappointing, but um, you know it, it, it's one of those things uh, you have to just deal with. Um, as a player, you know you can understand the, um, the the fans sometimes when you're not getting the results, they they don't turn up. But it's unfortunate, but it's something that um, you know we have to look to fix if we're going to look to to change that in the future. And b beyond the results, I mean, can you put your finger on something specifically that um, seems to be leading to this? Because we see 20,000 fans w week in week out in Toronto. Um, yet an another poor turnout for Canada. I mean, c can you identify any reason why this is happening? Uh, you never know. Um, there could be loads of different reasons, but um, from my point of view, you know, as a player and uh, as, a, as a group of guys in the squad, you know, we just have to concentrate on doing well on the pitch and getting results. And I think if that takes, you know, if, if, if we get that done, then obviously the rest of it will take care of itself. Okay, Simeon, thanks as always thanks for your time, and hopefully we can put it right against Honduras tomorrow. Thank you, man. Appreciate it.